Yo, what's up? It's Naj Room. And I've got a big package. So the same day I actually ordered the chair, I also ordered the desk. You know, I was having back pain, so I felt like if the chair wouldn't fix it, then this might. What we have here is a standing desk, believe it or not. It's actually almost as tall as me, right? I'm six foot one, six foot two, you know, for the ladies, but about six foot, right? This thing is just about six foot across. Like this is actually the length of the table itself. It actually has more space than the one I currently have by like another, I say like another eight inches. So I can fit another monitor there, which is gonna be really great when I start streaming again. I can get a vertical monitor or, you know, I might just get another, regular one but this thing is actually very heavy dude this is much heavier than the chair box and it is electric right it's a standing desk so it has like three buttons on it right one that goes up one that goes down and one to lock in a setting you can have like custom loadouts with this i think i actually might need like a power drill to build this i don't have a power drill my brother does but he's asleep right now so i don't really want to bother him so i'm just gonna see if i can attack this with like a regular screwdriver and a wrench right but i mean you never know we'll have to see and just like the chair i will put this in a time lapse so you can either skip ahead where it's built instantly or sit back relax and enjoy the time Time lapse. Alrighty, so the table is done, it is built. However, I still need to replace my old setup here. So I just wanted to record this video to show you guys what my old setup looks like. You know, terrible cable management there. It's probably gonna be the same for this table too. I could have chosen one that actually had like a box on it here for better cable management, but I like this one because it was flat. It had nothing really else on it. You know, no things that would really interact. The other one had like drawers in addition to the cable management. So I didn't really like that. All right, it is done. Take a look, a nice tall standing desk. It's about like six foot tall, I'd say, right? Or maybe not six foot that's like five feet tall right because i'm six foot and this is me looking like straight ahead right this is how tall it is it has the buttons right here so you can adjust it here now go down if you want to but i want to keep it up and the one thing i was worried about i was worried if all my cores from the actual monitors and the headset would actually be able to reach the pc and they do just barely for some of them but they still do which is good i know my cable management is not all the best right however i do kind of have to make some sacrifices because the desk is going to be moving like raising and lowering quite often so i need to have these cores kind of free falling a little bit i guess i could have some straps that like kind of glue them to the wall a little bit that are adjustable but i mean i'll have to look into that i've never done that before so i need to do some research before i tackle that as far as the old desk i decided to move it right here to the right side and the desk that was here i put it right here in between i can use this like a table stand got some other type of materials screwdrivers and other things in here i got a big old whiteboard here i can do what i want here small whiteboard right there that i kind of take up with me any kind of like not ideas that i have i can write down there and in the event that i have anybody over you know we have two chairs here we could always pull it up i also have an extra chair behind this whiteboard yes i have three whiteboards two of them are bigger i've got this chair i've got a table that we can set up as well so we got plenty going on here as far as lights go i got a light here i've got a light here in that corner as well and then i got one facing this entire room one right above here for this nice kind of bluish glow and another one right here that i just added to this desk setup for this standing desk i also have this floor mat here an ergonomic floor mat that matches the chair you know they're both ergonomic the chair actually feels great by the way it's been incredible and it's helped my back out a lot now this mat the cool thing about it is it's actually slanted a little bit so it's 
it's not directly flat on the ground. It feels very comfortable, but I've only stood on it for like five minutes at a time. So I got to stand on it for like hours before I make a final decision. It also has this little ball thing right here on both sides. And I guess it's to like massage your foot. I know this part in the back, it's like a ribbed edge. That's definitely to massage your foot. And actually it feels incredible. It can tickle a little bit if you just like barely rub your foot on it. If you put your whole pressure on it, it actually feels really nice. So I'm glad I got this. And for my keyboard, I also got this little pad here. I think this was like $25. The table itself was like $320, right? So it's a bit beefy on the price there. The chair, like I said, the chair was also 300. The floor mat was, I think this was like $60, right? Yeah, for a floor mat. It's, I mean, it's bigger than my PC, if you can see. If I put it up to the table for comparison, like it's pretty big, right? The table is definitely like six feet across. So I'd say this thing's like what? Two and a half feet across? Maybe two, two and a half? Yeah, something like that. But that is my room setup so far. That is the room of Nas room. You know, I've got my official logo there, Minecraft torch, a heater there that's probably gonna plug up to back there, some weights, some books and other nonsense right there. So yeah, that's about it. I must say though, setting up this table has been the most I've ever had to use a screwdriver at once. Like, dude, I'm getting calluses on my hand that I didn't even know I could get. Look at this. It's like right here. Oh yeah, you can see that right there. One right there, I've never had a callus there before. And I actually think this is a blister on my main hand. This one kind of hurts if I press down on it. The other one really doesn't. Eh, a little bit if I really press on it, but I mean, I've never had that happen before. So I'm assuming it was something with a screwdriver in combination with how many screws I actually had to put in this bad boy, dude. I had to put a lot, all right? Lots of varying different sizes. I mean, you guys saw the time lapse. You guys saw how I did it. But overall, very happy with what I got so far. You know, I got plenty of space to just stand and just have things on the top of the table here. And I've always wanted to record my videos while standing. You know, I feel like when I stand, I have way more energy, you know, way more passion for the craft. So I'm really looking forward to the next videos that I'm actually going to release. It's going to be a high energy now's room. I hope you guys are prepared. And also, I am looking to start streaming soon. I've got a lot of things planned out, a lot of things I want to get working. However, there's still some things I got to figure out first behind the scenes before I get that going. But I mean, hey, you never know, man. Make sure you have those notifications on for the stream because one day I just might hit the button by accident. I'm live, people start talking in the chat and I just run with it for hours. So don't miss that first one, all right? Appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you next time. Take care, peace.